I just want to get healthy again, have my heart and kidney heal, feel better, feel like a normal person, be able to do normal things again. 20-year-old Jonathan Sadowski gets emotional as he talks about the life-saving transplants he received at Barnes Jewish Hospital. I just uh, thank everyone for uh, helping me out and uh, getting me a new kidney and heart so that way I can feel 100%. The young man from O'Fallon was the first patient at Barnes Jewish to undergo a combined heart and kidney transplant. It's a procedure that is very rare. Less than 500 have been performed in the last decade. For our patients um, who have uh, chronic congestive heart failure, one of the end effects of that has always been um, renal dysfunction. Historically, most centers in the country, including ourselves, would not transplant people with a heart if they had renal failure or impending renal failure. This heart transplant was Sadowski's second. He was born with a severe heart defect and got a transplant when he was less than two months old. He actually had a previous heart transplant and, uh, and as a result of both his medicine that he takes for his reject anti-rejection medicine and his um, worsening natural progress of his first transplant heart not working as well, his kidneys became uh, doesn't became worse and worse in its function and ultimately he became dialysis dependent. Surgeons with Washington University Medical School performed the heart kidney transplant in two stages. First, a five hour heart transplant surgery. Once the heart transplant is done, we take the patient actually back out of the OR into the intensive care unit where we monitor them closely for the next several hours. Then back into the operating room for a four hour kidney transplant surgery. It's a lot of coordinating between the heart transplant team, the ICU staff, the kidney transplant surgeon, sort of waiting for that optimal time to put the kidney in to make sure that their new heart can provide blood flow to the new kidney. Doctors say the success of that first surgery paves the way for more patients. Ideal candidates for this surgery are those with limited disease process to the heart and kidneys and who do not have other issues such as diabetes or problems with liver function. Our ability to offer both the combined heart and the kidney transplant then opens a, a lot of window of opportunity of a new life and a, a renewed beginning for our patients who are suffering from this you know, unfortunate combination of heart disease and kidney disease. Studies show the rejection rates in patients who receive both organs are significantly lower than those receiving a heart alone.